Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand another fundamental microeconomic concept which is known as the income consumption curve which is also known as ICC. Now in microeconomics there are various concepts and various theories of which we are going to totally focus today on the concept of income consumption curve, how it is made and how it moves or uh, bends specifically in the conditions of a normal good as well as an inferior good okay so today we are going to express our thoughts on this concept also this concept is very important from the point of view of UGC net examination gate economics various types of uh, graduation and post graduation degrees related to economics because this is a very fundamental and a very basic concept of the consumer's equilibrium theory. Now, when we learn about the consu consumer's equilibrium, we normally use the indifference curve to establish the point that indifference curve tells a combination of two goods, various combinations actually of two goods, which give the same amount of satisfaction to the consumer. So, on an indifference curve, a consumer is going to derive same amount of satisfaction of whatever combinations of these two goods would be, right? So, if I say that on this graph, So let's say that on this graph, we have um, the price line, okay, or the budget line, which derives the budget of an individual consumer. So let's say that the budget line is like this, BL1, okay. So BL1 is originally the budget line, which is specific for a consumer. And on that basis, the consumer is going to derive the same amount of utility or satisfaction from purchasing a combination of two goods. So let's say there's this good A and over here on the Y axis, we have commodity or good B. Okay. So this good A, good A on the X axis on good B on the Y axis. Okay. Now we are going to make a indifference curve. So let's make an indifference curve and the indifference curve is going to be tangential to the budget line so that the consumer's equilibrium is achieved. Right. So over here we have this indifference curve. Okay. Let's name it IC1. Okay, now this indifference curve IC1 denotes the satisfaction or the, um, the satisfaction or utility that has been derived by a consumer by purchasing, by purchasing OA1 quantities of commodity A and OB1 quantities of commodity B. Okay, because uh, I'm using B letter for commodity B. So I'm going to make my budget line um, as PL1 that is price line also it's known as price line. Now, income consumption curve, how income consumption curve is made in such a scenario, whenever the prices of commodities remain the same or remain constant, while the income of a person or income of an individual is the only one which because of it uh, because of the income of the consumer being changed the consumer derives a certain um, utility which is different from the original utility that has been derived by that consumer so that change in income because of that change in income the amount of utility or disutility gained or lost by a consumer will give you the income effect now let's say that initially the consumer's income was pl1 that was his budget line now let's say the budget line is changed because of the increase in income let's say um, in two three years that person has received a uh, increment in his salary and now the new price line or budget line is p oops p l 2 okay now this is a new price line 
okay obviously because of this new price line and without any change in the prices of commodities commodities prices have not changed they are constant so there will be an impact on the utility now gained at a new price line you have more income more monetary or real income with you as to dispose of and which is why you can now purchase more quantities of the same commodities that you were purchasing as a consumer so now the indifference curve is going to also change let's say this is a new indifference curve ic2 and a new point of equilibrium this is this was e1 a new point of equilibrium quantities this is e2 this is a2 and this is b2 okay so we see over here that as the income increases or same way it can decrease also if the income increases then there will be of course a utility gained and that's why the consumers um indifference curve is going to get higher if let's say the there was a, um, a decrease in salary let's say because of covid there were many employees whose salaries were reduced okay so let's say what happened at that time um the price line changed let's say to to this point where there was a small loss of monetary income okay so let's say now it's p l Three. Okay. Don't worry if the chronology has changed because we have shown how it changed. First of all, how it increased and why it decreased. Okay. So it can the the chronology can differ according to what you are explaining. Right. Now on this price line, obviously you have this amount of budget PL three. So you have to purchase your commodities on the basis of that budget. So let's say your indifference curve now is this. Okay. I C three. and of course now you're going to purchase the items in this fashion this is your a3 and this is your b3 right so any change that has been caused in the consumer's utility because of a change in the income not because of the prices but because of the change in income is known as income effect and now we are going to find the locus of each of the um consumers income so the equilibrium points are said to be the locuses locus means the point that uh, where the indifference curve and the budget line is coinciding that tangential point so the locuses when you meet these locuses okay so let's say i go about like this i meet the locus of e1 e2 and e3 like this okay and this dotted line that you see over here is your income consumption curve icc so when you join all the locuses of all the equilibriums that you might have received or that a person or consumer might have received because of his or her shifting of income okay increase or decrease of income and because of that increase in decrease of utility so the income consumption curve that we derive is like this by adjoining all the equilibrium points on these consumer equilibrium positions so that is what is the income consumption curve i hope that this point and this concept was understood by you all we'll again meet along the lines of in income consumption curve and along the lines of more such videos on various topics of economics till that time keep liking sharing our videos and keep watching ecoholics thank you